My grandpa thought in World War II. What's up, guys? We are AJR. Busking was interesting, especially in New York City. Uh, any good stories? People would come up, so I was about eight years old, or maybe like even younger, maybe like seven at the time, and often people would come up and think it's a good idea to take the mic from me and us to sh kind of showcase their own project. Often they would go, just give me the mic for a second. I, at age eight, had to be like, sure, there you go. And then they would just start going into like a rap or like their own song. So that would happen often. People would put uh, like throw rocks and put rocks in our little hat that we had for money. People were, they weren't very nice, but then the people who were nice were like super supportive and nice. So. Yeah. It was it was quite an interesting day. Mm. I think fun. Not mm. that they're dead, but they're like broken up. They're kind of dead as a band. That would be fun. <laughs> fun would be fun. Fun would be fun. We'll cut that out. Um, let's do Mozart is going to come for the direct support. Oh, fun's headlining. Mozart hasn't done enough radio promo <laughs> to like really, you know, <laughs> you know earn that dues. earn that headlining spot. Okay. And then let's go um, the Beatles, as first of three. Yeah, you're right. The Beatles too. <laughs> they're, they're, they're on the other stage, on the other side of yeah, the front. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then who's the absolute headliner? Oh, um, this is actually a serious one. Let's go Fountains of Wayne because oh, sadly, yeah. Adam Schlesinger. I always pronounce that name wrong. Uh, sadly died during COVID. So they're our favorite band of all time. So if we could have all of them headlining, that it's like the dream festival. Ideal. This is a question we've gotten before, and I can't ever remember oh, our planet. answer. Oh yes, this is the—it's not strange, but it's—it's it's just so cool. Um, so recently at our LA show, a fan arrived with a big, uh, like Sesame Street size puppet of me in like my my classic outfit, um, and uh, she this was. This woman works for the Muppets. So it yeah, was, like, it turned out quality. she worked for like the Jim Henson yeah. company, and I wrote to her asking to buy it. Uh, the, the puppet from her and she was like no I'll just send it right to you and it turns out she like is a professional puppeteer and yeah. puppet maker and that was I have it at my apartment right now it's like my favorite thing a fan has ever made uh, I think yeah, go. maybe for me uh, World's Smallest Violin blowing up was really fun uh, we've said this but I feel like if we could find any song on our most recent album that we would, uh, would think would le be least likely to blow up it would actually be World's Smallest Violin we really made that for our weirdest fans and kind of for us as just here's a weird one for the album it was a really cool lesson for us in work really hard on every song on the album because you never know what could suddenly be a single what about what are you looking forward to for 2023 what am I looking forward to um we are working on an album now mm -hmm. and that's probably going to come out 2023 and I think it's some of our favorite songs that we've ever written how's it going again jeez <laughs> <laughs> so if you were on death row <laughs> you know? Um, what would our last meal be? Uh, Chipotle. That's not a joke. I would think I would do Chipotle. Really? Because it just feels like, it's not necessarily like my favorite food ever, but it just feels so like homey and comfortable. It just like represents think, your life. Yeah, I'm not so sure I'd want like the greatest Tate <laughs> represents my life. Why? Right? That's what your life tastes like, Chipotle. Like, I'm 99% Chipotle anyway, <laughs> so just got to fill that last 1%. Uh, what about you? What's your, what's your um, last one? I would do, I would do pizza. Like just a really good slice of like uh, New York pizza. Hmm. What about you? Probably a bento box, so I get like a little bit of a million different things. What kind of bento box? Salmon teriyaki? Um, shrimp tempura. There we go. Yeah, um, uh, the band has been going for 17 years. That's a real number. Uh, that's that's when we, we started in 2005, so that's about 17 years. Um, and... Uh, from that moment on, we were like, it was never like a hobby for us. We were like, we want to do this for real. So we really got to work hard on the band name. Um, and it was just, we were too young to be creative uh, in any way. And it was just like every variation of the the initials. So it was J-R-A, A-J-R, A-J-A, Ajar, Adam, Jack, and Ryan. Raj. Uh, no, that was never one. Raj, uh, was <laughs> Raj. My creation. No, <laughs> that was your secret hope. Uh, no, but it was, that, that was, it was really just that. That was all we could think of. Um, play yeah, a lot we, of, sorry. Oh, I know you're gonna do a joke. You do your I joke. Actually wasn't, I actually was I actually was not gonna do a joke. But go ahead. I'll uh, see we we, do, we have like a handshake thing that we oh, do. Oh, that's like right before we get on stage. Right? We do this. We do thumbs together, and then we do that. I was saying, uh, like, up leading up to going on stage, we get very bored, so we try to make games out of whatever we find in the dressing room. Including today, we were playing a game like sliding the phone across the table. So we often do that. See, I wasn't gonna make a joke. Yeah, good for you. But just wait till this next question. 
uh, Q-tips for my ears. I'd love to just feel that. God, forever. those 99 cent packs of 10,000 Q-tips, really. Yeah. I'd love to never have to buy those another Those won't pack. last you, <laughs> yeah, you know? No. You, yeah, okay. Um, lifetime supply. I'd have to be Chipotle again. <laughs> I'd have to be Chipotle again. Right up until that death row moment. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, I feel like I'm going to go with something classic. Sour Skittles. A lifetime supply of sour skittles. That'll kill you in about six months, so yeah, that won't last very long. Yeah. Well, then they just need to give me six months for it. There you go. Maybe uh, for me, American Pie. Ooh, I feel like that's like really a good one. Perfect song. Let's go. Um, Stacy's mom. Another Fountains of Wayne reference. We didn't start the fire by Billy Joel. <laughs> a lot of lyrics in that one. <laughs> oh man. There you go. 